Ohio's first district. The Republican incumbent Steve Shabbat is the winner. Aftab Purival is now giving his concession speech. Let's listen in. Thank you so much. Hi, Mom. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Thank you. That was quick, wasn't it? One such race, uh, the battle for Ohio's first district. A whole lot of money was poured into this contentious fight between Steve Shabbat, the incumbent, of course, and Aftab Purevall, the rising star. Uh, the reliably Republican district stays that way. Shabbat holds off Purevall tonight. We begin our coverage tonight with Anjanette Levy. She's at the Backstage Event Center downtown. Anjanette? Well, Rob, Congressman Shabbat is giving his uh, his victory speech right now. We'll let you listen into that. He's talking about some things he wants to get done when he goes back to Washington. Continue to work hard, and uh, I know the political experts will probably say, "Don't say this," but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> so. Hi there. Hi, Congressman Shabbat. Thank you uh, very much, and congratulations. Uh, this was a really nasty, hard-fought campaign. Um, how are you feeling tonight? Obviously, that was a formidable challenge that Aftab Purival launched against you. Yeah. Well, uh, the race is now in the past. Um, it was a hard-fought race, and uh, I wish him the best in the future, unless he's running against me, of course. Um, but uh, in any event, uh, you know, that's politics. I, I wish it hadn't gotten that way, and I'll just leave it there. Um, there have been a lot of criticisms that were, you know, lobbed at you throughout this campaign, that you were have been in Washington for 22 years and not accomplished much. You took issue with that. But there are a lot of people who are saying they want to see things like the Western Hills Viaduct fixed and the Brent Spence Bridge. What are going to be your priorities when you go back to Washington in January? Yeah, well, we're going to continue to do everything we can to make sure that we deal with those infrastructure projects. The Brent Spence Bridge is a good example, the Western Hills Viaduct. Uh, we've gotten millions for those. We're going to continue to push those things. Uh, there's a lot of other things, the Fort Washington Way, the I-71 and I-75 corridors that we've gotten lots of money for in the past. So we're going to continue to, to work for this community, whether it's infrastructure or whether it's keeping this economy moving in the right direction. And some people are projecting, uh, not everyone I don't think, but they're, they're saying that the Democrats will likely take control of the House. Is that going to complicate matters when you go back to Washington? Well, it certainly does. It's, it's much nicer to be in the majority than the minority. I've been in both. Um, I'll work closely with the Democrats. I happen to be the chairman of the House Small Business Committee right now, um, and I've worked very closely with the uh, ranking member that's the lead Democrat on the committee. Uh, so I'll always work with both parties. I think that's in the best interest of the people here at home, and I'll continue to do that. What do you think the key was to this, to you winning this race? Just being a long-time congressman and having a big name ID, or, or was it those cups that you get out of the bears? Well, we do give out a lot of cups. I see a few of them around here, but it, overall I think people think that experience is a good thing. I think the fact that I've the people have re-elected me time and time again, there's a reason for that. They know me, they know that I consider this district first above everything else. I always have and I always will. Thank you, Congressman Shabbat, and again, congratulations. Thank All right, Congressman Steve Shabbat winning another term after a very, very hotly contested race with that challenge launched by Democrat Aftab Chirapal. Rob and Cammie, we'll send it back to you. Hi, Jeanette, thanks very much, Cammie. All right, Rob, you know, pollsters during the campaign with Pierval and Shabbat said the race was just too close to call, but then some late allegations and a last-minute staff shakeup appears to have done in Pierval. And for more on that, we go to Jeff Hirsch. He's in Pendleton tonight for us. Jeff. Yeah, good evening. You know, it was a very, very nasty race. It was perceived at the beginning as a very close race. It sort of leaned back to Steve Shabbat. Obviously, he won tonight. If there's a lesson out of this night, there's a lot of lessons, actually, one of them is that Hamilton County is now a blue county, a Democratic county. It has gone for Democrats in the presidential races the last few times. It went for Rich Cordray tonight. It also went for Aftab Pierval. Hamilton County, Aftab Pierval, carried Hamilton County by about 10%, just as he carried Hamilton County two years ago when he became the clerk of courts in an upset over incumbent Tracy Winkler, a Republican. But. The 1st Congressional District does not simply include Hamilton County. It also includes Warren County, and that is the proof of the power of gerrymandering. The Republicans who control the state of Ohio put Warren County, reliably D 
deep beat red into the 1st Congressional District. And Warren County gave Steve Sabat a two to one margin. So Warren County delivered this race for Steve Shabbat. And also, you know, that's kind of the lesson of tonight. Obviously, we mentioned the, the dysfunctional problems with FTEP Pierval's campaign at the end. His campaign manager left, he got rid of some staffers. There was the Ohio Elections Commission investigation. It ended up with kind of a slap on the wrist, $100 fine, but it was just terrible publicity. Gave Steve Shabbat some advertising fodder. So it was just you know, a bad ending to a campaign that the Democrats thought had tremendous promise. One uh, Democrat told me it was a blown opportunity. So let's hear a little bit now of what Aftab had to say. All you heard before live was thank you. Let's hear a little bit more of what he had to say to his supporters a few minutes ago. I just called Congressman Shabbat and I congratulated him uh, on, on the election. No, please stop. Please stop, guys. Guys, we got to, we got to. We have to come together. We have to come together as a country in a positive and substantive way. So I, I called Congressman Shabbat and I told him uh, congratulations and that I'm rooting for him to make a difference in this next term. Now, speaking of next terms, uh, after that Pure Bowl has two more years before he is uh, eligible, I guess you could say, or supposed to run for re-election in the Park of Courts if he chooses to run for re-election. He was obviously a rising star in the Democratic Party, kind of came out of nowhere two years ago, became Park of Courts. The question now, what happens next? Is he still a rising star, or is that star just kind of dimming a little bit? We'll find out sometime over the next couple of years, see what he does next. Live in Pendleton, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. And in spite of Shabbat's win tonight, we have just learned that CBS News just called, called this, that the Democrats have flipped the House.